It's almost impossible to avoid these days. You're surrounded by people at the checkout counter. You're asked to give a donation. But does that money actually go to programs you want to support? Josh Gant is on your side tonight with how you can track where your money is going. How y'all doing today? Doing well. Odds are it's happened to you. Welcome to Firehouse. Would you like to make it 12 even first responders? Yeah. You're at the checkout and asked to donate a roundup change to charity. It's almost unusual to go in and out of a store without being asked, quite frankly. A dollar here and five there, it adds up. Organizations raise millions of dollars every year. This can be a very efficient way to raise a lot of money very cheaply. Lauren Styron is executive director of Charity Watch, the only independent charity watchdog organization in the country. Styron says charity at the checkout can be a double-edged sword for customers. Let's face it, inflation is very high. People are already very stretched. And it's really not fair to put people in that position where they have to make such an impulsive decision and feel pressured to donate before they've had time to research the organization. Siren says, don't feel pressured into giving. You can research organizations on Charity Watch's website to see where your donation is going. You'll find A through F ratings on each organization. It can vary widely how much of your donation really ends up being spent on charitable work. Generally speaking, all the money that's donated does get to the charity. But... The charity, depending on which charity it is, might have very, very high overhead. Styron says charities spend at least 75% of your donation on their programs and keep their fundraising ratio down to about $25 or less to raise every $100 of public support. According to the latest America's Charity Checkout Champions report, in 2021, over $605 million was raised by a group of 76 point-of-sale fundraising campaigns that each raised over $1 million eBay raising the most money at $82 million for thousands of charities of the seller's choice, PetSmart raising $44 million for animal welfare initiatives, Walmart and Sam's Club raised more than $28 million for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. If you aren't sure where the donation is going, Styron says don't donate impulsively. To take the time to check out a charity before you give and make sure that you're donating to one that isn't you know, going to waste too much on overhead and that's going to be directing most of the money that they have to the programs. There are about 1.8 million nonprofits in the U.S. Styron says there are no laws in place mandating that a minimum percentage of your donation has to be spent on programs that you are intending to support. You can track the charities and spending on this story right now on the news app. I'm Josh Kent, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.